Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the five tips that I have for you if this is the first time you come to Roundtop, Texas. twice a year the biggest antique show probably in the entire United States and I have been a shopper and a vendor for many years and I would like for you to learn from my previous experiences so number one water you're gonna be walking everywhere you're gonna be going to all of these different venues it's very important that in your car or in your backpack you always have a bottle of water because mostly what they are selling is drinks. <laughs> so if you want a drink, there will be something very tasty. There will be always a margarita around the corner, but make sure that you have water with you. Second, shoes. Guys, you are gonna be walking everywhere. You have to go from one venue to the next, from breakfast to a dinner, and you need to make sure that you look beautiful and that you're also comfortable. Roundtop is a place where people dress up and they really let this rodeo Texas out in the country flair live its fullest life and you can be part of it but always make sure that whichever pair of shoes that you decide to wear is something that you already broke in. There's nothing more terrible than wanting to keep on shopping and walking with friends and the shoes being the thing that is stopping you. The third thing is make sure you have a dream list. What is a dream list? When you're out at the antique round top show, there's everything and there's a lot of everything. So I see people that come for the first time and they are like, oh my God, I'm so overwhelmed by the options that I don't know what I should be getting. So I will recommend that while you're at your house, you do a little walk through, walk through your house and you dream oh, I would like a bigger piece of art here. If I had an extra table there, if I had, if I had, it doesn't matter what it is. You're not going to find everything, but at least on your phone or on your notes, you will have a dream list of things that you wish you could find. So if you stumble across a treasure, you can actually seize the moment and take it back home. My fourth tip has to do with tip number three. Hibiscus Linens always places a tent at the Blue Hills and we sell a lot of tablecloths. And what happens sometimes is people come and they say like, oh, these are beautiful and different. I would like to get a tablecloth, but I'm not sure what size is my table. Let me text my husband, let me text my daughter. And by the time they text somebody back home, tries to measure a table, you already lost 20 minutes that you could have used shopping and exploring and wandering the show. So if you think that your dream pieces need to be a specific size, make sure that in the notes on your phone, you have the measurements for that wall. You have the size of your table. If you want to buy a table, what's the biggest table you could fit in that room? What's the smallest you will feel comfortable having? You can buy anything from a napkin ring to an entire bookshelf that came from France and that is the dreamiest part of the show, but you need to be ready to be able to pluck, to, oh, sorry. <laughs> but you need to be ready so you can shove the things that are there waiting to go back home with you. And fifth, my best tip to have a happy show is to make sure you come with wonderful people. What does that mean? Bring your sister, bring your best friend, bring your mom. Make sure that the people that are with you are gonna enjoy the show as much as you do and talk before you arrive. Do you have snacks? Do you have water? Are your shoes comfortable? Have you made your dream list? Because believe me, if you have a wall and you need to fill it with something and then you have to put a lamp in front of it and you have a very specific place and a very specific style in mind, all of those dreams will come true at the show if you're ready to find the beautiful treasures that are ready for you. Okay, well, I hope you come. Remember, the show happens for two weeks 
every single day is a fantastic day to shop. I hope you join us and I will be sharing more about what it is to be a vendor, how it is to come to Roundtop for the first time and what every day of a life of a Roundtop participant is. Also, we're going to be sharing about our parties, so make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.